Okay, you need a new hydraulic pump for your dump trailer and you're in a rush so you order it online. It shows up and it's a double acting hydraulic pump and you only needed a single acting hydraulic pump. I've only got one line coming from my cylinder into where my old pump was, which is sitting over there. Okay. I'm just making this video because I've spent an inordinate amount of time trying to get this done and I haven't seen, I couldn't find any videos. I found lots of drawings and schematics and stuff, but I was struggling awfully with this. So hopefully this saves you a bit of time. Um, there's four terminals back here. So start with the pause. We'll start with the positive. There's positive right there. Um, I'll get you a little bit of a better view. Okay. This is my positive side of my motor and positive side of the relay and negative side of the motor. And my negative is going off to negative side of the battery and to the ground to my frame. Okay. Um, we got the positive side here. This is going to my battery cable. So battery, positive side, down to the back side of the relay. And off of there, I've got the brown. So my new switch came in, and I had to screw around with it and change the wiring in it. So there's brown, and again, I use brown right here, same terminal as my positive cable. My black, the negative, common, whatever you want to call it, goes to there, which is up. So when I press up, I got, I'm making a loop between positive and negative and positive and negative. Okay, um, the negative is also going down to the lower terminal on, there's four posts there that, I don't know if you can see that, but anyways, negative is going down to <clears throat> uh, the lower part of the relay. So we got positive and negative there, and then in order to make uh, your um, the solenoid open up and just allow fluid to flow back in. I've got uh, this solenoid, which maybe you can see it. There is a gray wire in there. It's gray and black. And there's my gray wire going to my down button. So gray from the switch goes to gray on the solenoid and it works like a charm. I press up. And she's going up. And I press down. And it goes down. So, best case scenario is you order the right pump, the right hydraulic power pack for what you need. Worst case scenario is hopefully you can rewire this in 15 minutes instead of the ridiculous amount of time that this took me. Hope this helps.